Hey, my name is Ivy and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are returning. Today we are going to be doing a video that I have been wanting to sit down and film for some time now. I had an idea to do a build a palette with me video series but based around emotions. And I know that that sounds a little strange, but what better thing to kind of ideate around when it comes to color than something as instinctual as emotion. And I wanted to start with rage, just because I thought that rage would be a really fun one to try and concept around because there's a lot of kind of traditional colors that people associate with rage that I want to try my best to avoid. I'm not saying I won't use any of them. When you say the word, there's certain colors that enter your mind. I think red being probably one of the biggest. And I wanna try to think a little non-traditionally about rage and what it really looks like to me in color schemes and in texture and all of that. And I thought that would be a fun prompt to try and do a build a palette video. And I've also just been wanting to do a like build a palette with me video because I love to watch those. So if that sounds good to you, stick around. We're gonna go through all of my palettes and we're gonna pick out some shades together. We're gonna put them together. We're gonna swatch them together. It's gonna be a good time. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So I'm gonna start by just kind of opening up my palettes and seeing what looks good. This is only being used right now to currently house some of these depotted Unearthly Cosmetics shades from the Weirdos palette. I don't think I'm gonna reach for anything in here, but we'll come back to it. I'm gonna put this aside for now. And then I also have this palette, which I did make and have kind of kept together. This was based on the palette from the Mob Beauty. I've already spoken about this in a couple of videos and I've just been keeping this together. And I think I might pull something from this, but I'm not sure yet. I think I'm gonna come back to this one as well. So we'll, we'll put that aside for now. So when I think about rage, I definitely think about something that is almost like hiding in the background. Do you know what I mean? Like rage is the kind of emotion that sneaks up on you all of a sudden, you know, like you, you feel you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're going along and then all of a sudden you're like, ah, oh, I feel extremely full of venom and emotion and rage and I need to let it out. So that's something that I kind of want to try and pull in in some capacity. This is, by the way, is very disorganized. So this is not normally how I would keep these shades, but right now I haven't put these into their designated spots elsewhere. So they're staying in this box. Something like this, which is a new shade to me from Terra Moons Cosmetics, is like the perfect example of what I'm talking about. Like there's an underlying tension in this shade where there's a spicy, sort of red orange flip like right below the surface of this like kind of almost serene greenish blue teal this is the exact kind of thing to me that says like rage lying below the surface not traditional it's not like a bright red that's screaming at you like danger 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 so something like this i think i'm going to put aside into the palette nothing placid something definitely that like I said, sneaks up on you and kind of gets at your goat all of a sudden. Mm, that's too happy. These might be very similar, I'm not sure. But I'll put this aside for now and maybe we'll pull it in. Definitely want something dark and kind of a little bit ominous. I feel like a, a matte shade from Dandelions is always a good bet. This is Woodlands by Dandelions. I'm gonna put that one aside as well. I feel like that could be a good option. I think of rage and like terrible traffic or somebody cutting me off or you know somebody micromanaging me at work or whatever <laughs> those are the kinds of things i think of so i do think i'm going to pull some shades from this palette even though i want to try and keep it together there's definitely colors in here that i want to pick because this to me says rage there's something sort of like putrid and murky and mucky, but yet very like alert, danger, vibrant about a shade like this. This is a, another dandelion shade. This is Dirty Martini. I could see something like this fitting perfectly within this palette. So I could see something like this NARS shade. I think it's called Persia fitting really well within this context as well. I'm gonna put that one aside too. 
Okay, so within this palette, there's a lot of very kind of soft and feminine colors, definitely things that I wouldn't associate with rage, unless it's some very like pretty pretty princess chick who's annoyed the crap out of me somehow. But I feel like there's definitely things in here that could still fit really well within our context. Bright yellow actually has quite a bit of intensity to it that fits well within the context of Rage. So I could see something like this. This is Sour Lemon from Luxie Beauty fitting well within the palette. And I don't really want to do traditional, so I think I want to stay away from pulling in like a bright red, even though I have one, just because I want to really try to force myself to think outside the box. What might bring out that sense in me that there's inner rage lying beneath the surface. This is kind of an interesting shade. I've worn this more recently. This is Forge from Cleona, and it is one of these kind of intense black-based multi-chromes. And I really struggle with these kinds of shades. They don't bring me as much joy as some of the softer duochrome kind of shades. And so I feel like something like this, even just looking at it, even though it's a beautiful shade, is actually bringing me the slightest bit of rage. <laughs> I'd be really curious to hear from you what kind of brings out your inner rage. Is it somebody in your family? <laughs> is it, uh, you know, not getting your coffee? Is it your kids? Is it, <laughs> you know, I just, I'd be really curious to know what is it that really sets you off. There's something really annoying about this ColourPop pastel orange. It's kind of like a Barbie pale orange. I don't know. I'm going to put it aside. Something in me is telling me <laughs> to put it aside, so I'm going to put it up over here. I don't think it'll make the cut though. I think that's good for that book. I This is like a color that I would rarely reach for, but it is really pretty. But there's something about it again that just kind of like sets me off a little bit. I don't know what it is. I don't know, it's just giving me anxiety. The shade is kind of doing that for me. So I'm gonna put it aside, even though it's a random purple, see if it makes any sense within the context of the palette. This is a depotted shade from Kyle of Beauty that is one of those kind of blue-brown pigments, but extremely subtle. This shade is very pretty, but it does enrage me because I have so many shades that do this exact thing in such a much more efficient and better way. And this one is just super duper subtle. And it's not that there's anything wrong with it, but it just kind of like, again, just in the background subtly pisses me off. I feel like we're well beyond our nine pan spot, but let's see if there's anything else within here that kind of makes any sense. So we've made some initial decisions and I think now is the time to review what we've got and decide what makes sense and why, what might actually pair as a palette and what together cohesively says rage to me. Now let's figure out what makes sense. Like it actually really does 
speak that to me as I look at it. It just has a little bit of danger, danger vibes without being very obviously in your face. And it dips into the traditional kind of red and yellows without going there. This kind of bricky orange and these very like bright but still murky yellows get into that territory but in a non-traditional way. And I love that this bright purple is here. Like it's like, what the F is that doing here? Like this makes no sense. But to me in my head, it totally fits within the context of this idea. And then we have some kind of just like dark, looming, murky colors as well. It's a very strange color story. I don't know that anyone would actually ever make this palette in real life, but I'm digging how it came together. Okay, so let's swatch all the shades and then see how they actually feel as a workable palette. from what is now the Rage palette is definitely one of the stranger and weirder color combinations I've ever put together. It's really difficult for me to imagine right now exactly how this would work in an eye look, but I'm sure that it would be really fun to experiment and play with, and that is definitely what I intend to do. I'm gonna put up all of the, the shade names next to the swatches just so you guys can get a sense of the actual brands that I'm using. But the brands matter a lot less than just the ability to like sit down and play and think about an idea and pull colors. That's really the whole idea here is not to get caught up in, in brands and to just focus on the prompt, which I had a lot of fun doing. I hope to see you guys follow along with this prompt and see if you can build a palette based on an emotion, what it looks like, what it brings out in you, what it makes you think of. Just, you know, time to play and look at what you got and have fun with it. That's the, the whole idea here. I wanna thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like before you leave and definitely subscribe so that you can hang out with me in future videos. I cannot wait to talk to you in the next one and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Talk soon, bye.